What's up guys, this is Maxwell with a war recap video and recently we faced off against LP4 Hades with the Dark Lutus Z so let's go ahead and check out a few of our best attacks. So this was a 30 with 30 war and we're gonna start things off at number 19 where we have JP going in against Kieran Kiki from LP4 and uh, he's gonna bring the Queen Walk Laloon. Gonna start things off at the top right here baby dragon for funneling purposes and the queen is already in shooting at that gold storage on the other side another baby dragon is clearing the other side of the funnel he wants the queen to walk uh, straight down the gooch right here um, taking care of those enemy heroes at first he's using the poison spell and the rage obviously since he's uh, encountering a lot of damage from the enemy king and queen um, but the king is down already the queen is down so he's good to go right now and he's gonna move in right here um, towards uh, that section in the middle. Actually once the funnel is created he's gonna use his king as well and move in with king and queen through that funnel and then he's gonna look to take out um, two air defense obviously. Um, so let's go ahead and see how it all works out for him. The king is coming in for some extra tanking and also um, to kinda um, distract the clan castle that's gonna come out in a second right here. You can see goblins, wizards, and once the clan castle is lured and the first AD is down, he's gonna start deploying some loons. Just two of them to take care of that archer tower right there. Um, also, they get a bomb triggered in front of that wizard tower, so that's nice. And once that air defense goes down, he's gonna send in the first loon, max loon from the clan castle, another loon following up. Notice the deployment, the second loon is trailing in so that the max hound from the clan castle reaches the air defense first, and it's also gonna pop first. Very nice on the loon deployment right here coming in. One, two loons are actually spitting off for the mortar, which is perfect. They trigger one of those air bombs, which is also good. And then uh, it, it's already looking pretty good. Both lava of his last lava hounds are actually popping. Actually, he has one more lava hound coming in right there, so the last air defense is tanked for as well. So that's all good. Lots of balloons left. Beautiful attack right here. And uh, at this point, it's down to cleanup, so we're going to speed it up right here. Queen is still alive with a couple of healers on her as well, which is huge, obviously, because she's putting out so much damage. And yeah, very nicely done by JP right here, wrapping up a very important three stuff for us. So um, well done, thumbs up to JP. So next up, we have Vieto coming in on number 14 right here. He's bringing the Govaho with a couple of baby dragons for funneling. He's already placed down his first baby dragon on the left side of the base right here. Also, he has the Queen Walk, taking care of that barracks at first. Uh, one wizard for funneling to make the Queen go the right direction. And um, then he's gonna deploy uh, the Rage spell because he's encountering a lot of damage very early here. So, um, Queen is saved by that Rage. Baby, is dragon, baby dragons are doing work around the outside. So, that's also good. He breaks open the wall. Very nice wall breakers right there. Baby dragons are making sure that the queen is going in towards the core. His goal is obviously to get the clan castle here. He's got two poison spells ready. Also rage spell is deployed early so um, his queen won't be in any danger. Um, poison uh, is going down and it's, it's already slowing down all the little troops. Baby dragon is the only concern right here but um, queen gets it down easily. He hadn't, didn't have to use the ability which is pretty nice because obviously he's going to be able to have that for later then. Gollum is down, Valkyries are down, the clan castle Valkyries and actually one bowler as well in the clan castle. So that's pretty interesting, couple of wall breakers in there. Breaks into that compartment with the king, Valkyries, they take care of everything in that compartment. Jump spell going down to enable the pathing towards the queen. Valkyries are going to take care of the enemy queen pretty, pretty quickly right here. At the bottom, uh, his archer queen is going to take care of one more cannon and one more archer tower. One Hawk Rider coming in to kind of backhand that cannon there that's distracted with those defenses. Then he has one Loon and one Hawk for that Tesla right there. Um, Loon actually <laughs> shots, uh, kills a few uh, surrounding buildings as well, which is nice, obviously. Expo is going to go down to the Valkyries and the Golem. And then it's time to send in the rest of his Hawk Riders, taking care of that Wizard Tower, that Archer Tower. And yeah, no spells needed for the Hawk Riders right here, decided to use them all on the kill squad which worked out very nicely and at this point just one mortar left it's already down to cleanup so 
Yeah, very nice plan by Vieto. Actually, he got really unlucky with his first attack, but certainly made up for it with his second one, so thumbs up for that as well. And next up, we have Prototype with the attack you don't see that much anymore very often. He was actually practicing quite a lot with it in friendly challenges prior to the war, and he's bringing the Mass Hawk strategy. Only five minions left, other than that, it's all Hawk Riders, so certainly very interesting right here. Drops two poison spells down, king and queen to take care of that clan castle and obviously also the enemy archer queen. Um, enemy archer queen towards the outside of the base makes this strategy possible. Also he had a golem in the clan castle to do a little bit of shielding for his heroes. And now the queen has engaged uh, to, the, uh, to, the, to his barbarian king. He's not going to be able to go through the wall. Actually uh, he is but he's going down and uh, the barbarians luckily they get the queen down so that's pretty nice. And now it's time to deploy those hawk riders, obviously in a very surgical fashion right here, starting off with very few hawks. He has four heal spells, gets the first giant bomb triggered right there, so that's nice. Always a little relief to see that first giant bomb triggered, so um, you kind of um, can guess where the next giant bombs will be. Or at least you know that one of them is taken care of already. Tesla farm in the middle, so double heal uh, going down, or two heals uh, going down right here. And then he has... Another heal just as they step outside of the Tesla farm because he anticipates the giant bomb and nicely done, uh, takes care of that giant bomb nice um, and safely. And then uh, there is no double giant bomb between that wizard tower and the air defense actually which is kind of surprising. So only one double giant bomb uh, in the very beginning of his hawk deployment right here. So lots of hawk riders left and all the defenses are taken care of. Very very interesting attack and uh, yeah we certainly had a good chuckle about that one. Because, as I said, it's pretty unusual right now. Don't see a lot of mass hog attacks anymore that often. So, nice, nicely done by Proto right here, wrapping up the three star for us. All right, next up we have Neke going in on number 11. And yes, it's intentional that I zoomed out a little bit towards the bottom right here because that's where Neke is going to start off his attack. Um, he's going to start off with um, an archer at the corner, build set, and then one balloon. Um, troll Tesla right there outside of the base. Um, but now I guess he know, knows where it is, so he can tank for that with the golem, and then he's going to place down the baby dragon to create a funnel and on, the, on that side, and also a wizard. Archer queen is coming in behind the golem, she's going to take care of that tesla in the middle right there, the baby dragon is going to take care of the right tesla, so now he's good to go to deploy the third golem, king behind, and uh, now going to move in right here towards that middle where the archer queen is. Jump spell is directing his troops, to go the right way. Um, Archer Queen has nowhere to go but left as well. Clan Castle is lured out already. Poison Spell going down. Bowler's doing work and the Queen is also doing work. She's gonna take care of that baby dragon and then his kill squad is gonna progress through the middle. Now his kill squad has some room. He's gonna use a heal spell for his kill squad as well. Um, golems are tanking. The Bowlers are doing work inside of a rage and heal spell and now his Hawks are coming in towards the right hand side right here gonna deploy them in a clockwise fashion a um, couple of those for the tesla right there those teslas are always a little bit of concern with those hawk attacks queen's ability is gonna be used and he has five hawks left one heal spell and at this point it's looking pretty good um, his hawks are kinda split up right now uh, the last hawks that he's deploying heal spell kinda misses those on the wizard tower but that's okay one hawk coming in towards the bottom to take care of that mortar and then once again all the defenses are down so very nicely done by Nike. gonna wrap it up with another 9v9 3 star right here actually attacking up a little bit so nicely done on that one up next is Bene bringing the Gola Loon right here um, Golem going down early a wizard behind and the Goblin to create a little bit of a funnel Archer Queen is moving in and she's gonna walk south right here which is what he wants Poison spell for the enemy archer queen to um, slow her damage down and his archer queen is gonna kill it. Um, wall breakers, one test wall breaker and then a couple of wall breakers behind to get through that wall. Um, uses the golem, uses the king. Clan castle deploys, has the poison spell ready. Once again a clan castle with goblins, valkyries and a baby dragon. We've seen quite a few of those now. Um, so yeah, clan castle is gonna be taken care of. The queen is gonna kill that baby dragon and then it's time to deploy the first lava hound couple of balloons behind then he's once again gonna go at it in a clockwise fashion right here um, 
very very cool balloon deployment is very good on that um, takes care of those defenses nice and quickly heal spell going down over those wizard towers that wizard tower farm also a rage spell to help those balloons boost out a little bit more damage one shot those wizard towers and also move a bit faster um, so at this point he has one hound going through the third air defense catches two black bombs right here but the next hound is already approaching and that's his last hound as well so it's gonna take that air defense and then he has lots of balloons left I'm not quite sure how many I think it's about maybe 12 to 14 right here so plenty of juice to take care of the rest of this base since pretty much all the bombs are triggered as well as we saw as the last lava hound pups the balloons are already at that air defense so um, yeah at this point it's pretty much over as I said, lots of balloons left. Also, the lava pops have a really nice spread. He has one cleanup wizard down, so um, nicely done by being a wrapping up another three star for us. Um, also attacking up a little bit, so pretty cool attack right here. I feel like uh, La Lune is kind of the meta right now. We've seen a lot of a La Lune this this war. I actually had to, um, yeah, be cautious to not only show La Lune. <coughs> so let's go for the next one, which of course is. A La Lune attack, you guessed it. Um, but this has kind of a little variation to it. It's a Zap Quake La Lune, so um, and also it was a very very nice attack. So I definitely had to show this one. Um, King and Queen coming in towards the bottom right here to take care of that enemy queen. Tezo is gonna try and do the job for us against uh, Ismail from LP4. So enemy queen is engaged. His queen is close enough, and she's gonna aggro the enemy queen. So I'm um, taking care of her nice and early. King has used his ability already, but that's okay. His only goal was to take care of that queen and then grab one air defense and then he's good to go. Queen kinda uh, looking towards the outside now. Lava Hound comes out of the clan castle, which is not good news, obviously, because the queen is gonna lock onto it. At this point, he's gonna start deploying his hounds, going in towards that first air defense, two hounds, couple of balloons for the cannon, couple of balloons going towards the wizard tower couple going towards the mortar. Those are actually gonna take fire from that air defense. He's gonna lose two balloons right there, but then a couple more lava hounds are coming in for that air defense. I'm gonna tank it nicely so he can deploy his balloons in the back line. Um, at this point the queen has taken care of that lava hound. She's fighting the lava pups down here and she's gonna get almost all of them. Her archers are gonna take care of the rest of those pups. One has actually peeled off towards the balloons, but Obviously a Lava Hound is going to pop soon, so that's um, going to be able to take care of that enemy Lava Pup then. Deploying the rest of his balloons towards the top compartment right here. And now he's taking care of all air defense. Only two expos left to worry about really. The Wizard Tower in the back line here is not really any worry for him. Has a Lava Hound left also. Level 4 max Lava Hound, so um, closing in on the last defenses right here. Look how many balloons he's left. Uh, We've seen so many attacks in this war with lots of balloons left towards the end, so really seems like uh, La Lune is strong on lots of those bases that are created right now. Actually a perfect <laughs> black bomb right towards the end here takes care of that uh, last Lava Hound, so um, lots of more cleanup for him, and this one wasn't even close. Queen is still up as well, so very well, very well done by Tezo here, wrapping up another 3 star. And for the last replay of this war we have uh, Town Hall 10 v 10 attack. Uh, Jonas is gonna bring the Go Bola versus their number six right here, attacking down a couple of numbers, but still it's a 10 v 10. So um, moving in right here with two golems and a few wizards for funneling purposes. Um, then the wall breakers are coming in, uh, breaking open that wall, and now he's good to go and deploy the rest of his kill squad. Queen is going down. Bolas are going down. Enemy clan castle deploys, so it's time for the double poison. Lots of minions in there. Sort of a strange clan castle with um, the balloon and the minions uh, along with her baby dragon, but I guess the baby dragon survived a little bit longer, so um, uh, I guess that's okay, but still don't really see too many air units paired up with the baby dragon, so kind of questionable on that one. Um, his bowlers are moving in now, um, taking care of everything inside of the core. The Queen is gonna grab that first Inferno Tower, which is crucial. Bolas took a couple of shots at that uh, bottom Inferno Tower right here, and now his Miners are already in. They are gonna approach that uh, Inferno Tower pretty quickly, take care of it, and 
um, that he won't have to worry about that anymore. Also, two Teslas right in front of the Inferno right here. They are kind of pulling his miners there like magnets. And now uh, his spread looks really nice because um, the miners are all moving together and they're gonna go uh, through this base right here um, as a whole. And that's obviously where, where they are the strongest. He also has two heal spells left still. He ain't even gonna need them. Probably he could, uh, could swag both of them. Um, but we'll see what he's gonna do right here. Miners now taking care of the barracks. His archer queen just went down. We have one lonely wizard strolling along back with those at the back of those miners looking to snipe off any buildings but the miners are just too quick taking care of everything so the wizard uh, retargeted about 328 times in this uh, attack um, so yeah two rates uh, two heal spells are gonna be swagged in the middle of the space so very nice plan by Jonas very nice execution and yeah that's gonna wrap it up for uh, Town Hall 10 3 star and then Let's go ahead and take a look at the result. It was a very close war. We had the spread of 1 town on 11, 5 town on 10, 1 9.5 and 23 town on 9s. And taking a look at the standings right here, we were able to pull off a very close victory, 85 to 84. So both teams didn't really perform uh, at their best. If you take a look right here, we couldn't two star their number one. That town on 11, we left that open. A um, couple of town on 10s also not three star, but then we cleared all the nights. So everything down from here is three starts so that's looking pretty good on their side uh, or on our side I guess they also only one start our town hall 11 they uh, three start our number two base the town hall 10 three start couple more three more town hall 10s actually but they kind of missed out on our town hall 9 so you can see uh, our 13 didn't get three start 21 didn't get three start 22 didn't get three start and yeah, so they kind of missed their stars on the town of nines, but taking a look at the final tally right here, they were leading in damage percentage, so very close. We went in for our last attack 20 seconds before the war ended, pulled a three star to win it, so very nice matchup. GG to LP4 Hades, definitely enjoyed warring with you guys. Maybe we can do a matchup sometime soon. And that's going to wrap it up for this recap video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. And until next time, I will see you all later. Peace out.